Well, hello, my possum Michigan Avenue Elementary art students. So this week we're learning about another element of art. This element of art is called color. So the first thing you're going to do, just like every week, put your name on your paper. And then put your class code. So for instance, if you're in third grade and you have Mr. Brown, you would be writing 3-B or 3 Brown. Okay, so after you get your teacher's name on there, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our heading. And the way we learn about color is we are going to be making a color wheel. So put your heading for your color wheel and then give a thumbs up when you've finished. Our next step is to draw a circle. Now you want to draw it in about the top two-thirds and it doesn't have to be a perfect circle okay okay nothing has to be perfect okay now once you get your circle done you're going to be drawing a horizontal line so try to find about the middle of your circle and we're going to just draw a straight line across from one side of our paper to the other, cutting our circle into two halves. Okay, give me a thumbs up when you're ready. And the next step is we're going to look at our top half. Okay, so if I was to make a little mark here and here, I would be dividing my top half into thirds. So I'm going to then draw a straight line from my first mark to that center point and then continue across and then do the same thing. Now again, if this is not exact, please don't stress out and make yourself get all upset. Okay? So this is something like what you should have. You now have three pieces on top and three on the bottom. Okay? Give me a thumbs up when you're ready to move on. Now, the first thing we're looking at is our primary colors. So I'm going to label this one red. So on the left side of your circle, above that horizontal line, you're going to write the word red. And then I want you to go ahead and color it in. Once you've colored it in, go ahead and give us the thumbs up so we know we're ready to move on. Now. You can use crayons, or if you have colored pencils, you can use your colored pencils. doesn't matter. Now, you don't have to color this in dark, okay? You can color it in lightly. And especially when we get to the second part of this, which is where we are going to be mixing and blending colors to get new colors, okay? So you don't have to color dark, but you do want to make sure that you fill in the red section, the whole red wedge completely. And then like I said, once you're done, give me a thumbs up and we're going to move on to the second color of our primary colors. And that color is yellow. Okay, so we're going to label here yellow. And notice we have skipped the top one in the middle. So after you label yellow, Go ahead and start coloring in again. Remember, you don't have to color super dark. Just make sure you're filling in the entire section. Okay, because we want that whole wedge colored in for our color wheel. Once you're done, give a thumbs up so we know. Now notice that these two colors are both above that horizontal line. Now we're going to move below that horizontal line. We're again skipping a space. And this one we're going to label blue. Blue is the third primary color. And what's really important is to make sure when you're coloring each of these in, you must be using the right colors. You can't be using like a red-orange. You have to use regular red, regular yellow, and regular blue. So once you've labeled, Go ahead and start coloring in with blue. And again, 
not cerulean blue, not uh, beautiful or any of those fancy names, just regular old blue. That's important because all of the colors that we get come from these three primary colors. So any color you can mix comes from one of these three colors mixed with another. Okay, so go ahead, start coloring in and let me know when you're done by giving me a thumb. Okay, so now we have our three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a line underneath here. And we're going to label, okay, P-R-I-M-A-R-Y. Okay, so our primary colors, like I said, are red, yellow, and blue. Okay, and without these three colors, you would not have any other colors. So then just draw a line underneath that to divide. Now for our second set of colors that we're going to do, we are going to be mixing our secondary colors. And a secondary color is made when you take a primary color and mix it with another primary color. Okay, so the first color we're going to mix is we're going to mix red and yellow. So when you do this, remember I want you to color lightly, okay, because if you color too dark then it makes it harder. So the first thing you're going to do is in this box here, we're going to take red and yellow and that's going to make orange. Okay, so go ahead and start coloring in red and then color over top of it with the yellow and give a thumbs up when you Okay, so I've just finished coloring in with the red. Now this is where the magic happens when you're mixing your colors. I'm coloring over it with my yellow and look how all of a sudden it is magically turning orange. Now it's not going to be a perfect orange but look at how I simply took my red and my yellow and created a whole new color just by layering one over the top. So go ahead and do that and when you finish give a thumbs up so I know we're ready to move. Now we're going to move on to our second secondary color. So I'm going to turn my paper just a little bit here and when we mix blue and yellow we're going to get green. So we're going to label it green and now for this one again we're going to mix two colors. We're going to mix the blue and the yellow. Okay. So when you do this again start coloring lightly until you fill in the entire wedge. Oops and I went over into the other section a little bit. Let me see if I can erase that. There we go. Okay. So I've got my blue I'm going to add another layer and in the other direction that kind of fills in a little bit better so we don't miss any sections and now I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going over top of it. Now sometimes when you're doing the green you have to do it twice. Okay, So I'm adding the yellow over top and I'm going to go back over it again with my blue Okay, and then a little bit more with my yellow. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you're blending these, so you just have to play with a little bit more. And then just give it a little bit more color. Now, it's not going to be a perfect green, okay? The way you would get a perfect green would be as if you were actually mixing paint. So go ahead and mix your yellow and your blue to get your green and give a thumbs up when you're done. Okay, now we're moving on to our third and final secondary color. That's purple. Now purple also has a second name. Some people call it violet. V-I-O-L-E-T. Okay, so here that's where we're going to mix our red and our blue. 
So I'm going to put some red on. Okay, fill in the red. And then I'm going to go over with my blue. And again, this is another one where you might have to keep adding a little bit more of each color until you get the color that you like. But the goal is to get as close to purple as you can. It's not going to be perfect because, again, we're not mixing paint. We're mixing crayon or colored pencil. But you're going to get a purple-like color, and that's what matters. Okay? So once you finish that, give me a thumbs up so I know we're ready to move on. Okay, now for this next step, we're going to label down at the bottom here. We're going to write secondary colors, S-E-C-O-N-D-A-R-Y. Okay, and remember our secondary colors are orange, green, and purple. Now, if you look at the three colors that are above that horizontal line, okay, it's red, orange, and yellow. Red, orange, and yellow are called the warm colors. So I want you to label above the line warm, okay, and then below the line purple, blue, and green are the cool colors. Okay, and then we're going to label at the bottom of our paper, we're going to write warm and cool. And then we're going to write red, orange, and yellow. And then we're going to write purple, blue, and green. And the way you can remember those colors is if you think about things in nature that you see that are those colors. So for instance, when you think of a fire or a sunset or like lava, you think red, orange, or yellow. When you think of cool grass and water, you think blues and greens, okay? So these are the ways you can make things have warmth or coolness to your picture. Okay, so I hope you did a great job on it. Now remember, you're being graded on how you mix your colors you're not being graded on just pulling out an orange, a green, or a purple. So if you've just taken out orange, green, and purple, you need to make sure you're showing how you mix those colors. We're not just coloring them in because anybody can do that. And we are learning how to do our colors and blend colors. So have a great day, and I'll see you on the flip side.